Alrighty then, let's talk about uh, Tyrion Arnold. All right, he continues to talk about the Super Bowl and the pressures of the Super Bowl playing for the Lions as a rookie. Usually, we don't really uh, uh, talk about Super Bowl around here, and you know, I usually don't. You know, it's not to play, but hey, you're gonna enjoy it, right? So, um, you know, he had a lot of expectations at Bama. Says Terry on all Detroit Lions serious about winning the Super Bowl. And I mean, yeah. You know, when you come that close as you were last year, I mean, absolutely. 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 That's what everybody wants. You know, that's what everybody wants. Like it or not, that's what we all want. So um, but you know, we coming in as a rookie, and historically, you're hearing about Detroit and Detroit, not this, and they don't win this and they don't win that. And you hear these type of things, man. It's like, and now you get here, and the, the standard in one year is Super Bowl. That got to be crazy. That has to be crazy. You know, the standard now is Super Bowl. You know, but um, let's see if we get the clip. Oh, you on TikTok again? So here we go. This to this. First day back, man. We had a conditioning test. Rookies had to report early. Vets got to come later, man. You know, I'll be there next year. But that conditioning test was no joke. He boy really trying to win a Super Bowl this year. I tell y'all that, and I'm in shape. Get somebody else's opinion. Y'all boys know who this is, man. Whoa. I got these tight okay, I must, ass. I must have been thinking about my tight rookie ass. How that condition that says how'd you feel it, man? Shit, 12, but I was tougher. <laughs> can't forget, can't forget my op, man. This, this boy used to be my op, man, back in them college days, man. But you know, now we team. How that condition that says how'd you feel it, boy? It's cake, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm down then. There in Florida with the Florida boy. <laughs> that boy say he been down there in Florida with them boy. Can't forget about our boy Rate Straw, man. Finna go over here and tap in with that boy, man. Look how you looking right now. That boy probably tired. He over there with Mo Fizzy, man. How that condition to how you feeling, boy? Weak. Weak, <laughs> boy. How you feel, boy? He over here always he smiling. Ah! <laughs> tap back in with all my on my on my little camp vlog, man. Yo, that part. Suzzy Rock. I like I like the personality. It seems to be good vibes, infectious. This is, the Lions need more people like that, for sure. The Lions need more people like that. They need more guys that has infection, infectious, uh, you know, personalities, man. And um, you know, too many times they want choir boys. You need guys that have in, that have individ, that have their own individuality. You know what I'm saying? And um. You know, you need those guys. Those type of guys pick you up. You need badasses, you know. You need a couple badasses. I ain't saying they got to be Bill Romanowski badass, you know, nasty mofo right there, but you need some badasses. You need a balance. You can't have all good guys. You can't have all bad guys. Imagine the world with all good guys. Like, it wouldn't be no fun. You ever seen that movie Pleasantville? It's one of my favorite movies to watch. You know? You seen that movie, bro? Like, come on. Everything was too per- It was just too perfect. Can't have all villains neither. You know how that go, but but yeah. But yeah, I like that, man. But he said they serious. And you know, that's probably that's his first rookie conditioning test. Remember when uh Albert Hainsworth got paid over there and uh he got paid over there in Washington, he filled the conditioning test. Yeah, that, that shit ain't no joke. You know, Michigan uh heat is underrated because of the humidity. It ain't Houston or Florida though, but you know. That shit's underrated, bro. Real spill. That that shit is under underrated, bro. For real talk, people underrate the Michigan Heat. They underrated, man. So, you know, I'm happy to see that the standard has changed. I'm very happy to see that. You know that now. You know a lot of people are like, uh, you know, you know a lot of people are now. Uh, 
they happy to come here and play here. I mean, it's always beautiful to see them talk about championship. To me, it's beautiful. So, um, but, uh, but, but yeah, like I said before, you know, they working hard. They got a, they got a structure. Guys want to be here. Guys happy to be here. They ain't dreading to be here. You got an opportunity to win. That clear everything up. Winning, winning clears everything up. Yes, sir. Winning clears everything up. So now you got money, you got money to purchase things. You know what I'm saying? You got money to you got money to put uh to put into the facility. Now they can move moving their practice facility somewhere downtown where I don't even know where they got the damn space downtown at. You know, they you know you probably knocking some more of that shit down t- downtown so Titan squalls in. You know. So but we'll see. We'll see, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I just love to see guys happy to be to be where they at. Happy, I love to hear people say, "I'm happy doing the career I'm pursuing." Or I'm happy doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? You 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 love to see people say, "Well, I'm happy doing what I'm doing." You know what I'm saying? You just love to see that man. And you know, most guys wouldn't happy to be here. Of course, you're gonna make it the the best of the best. You know, you're gonna make it as best as possible. But you know. Being in an organization and where, like, come on, the expectations is to win. We're gonna have fun, but we're gonna kick ass, take names, and then have a little fun. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. So, you know, like I continue to say, um, you know, I think training camp starts Tuesday for the vets. You know, I know a couple of the vets say because of the cyber attack that Lee McNeil and, uh, Elaine McNeil and uh, Alex Anazoni said they might not be able, they can't get flights uh, back to Detroit. And with the five and below, they said they wasn't even taking uh, cash due to the cyber attack. So I, I don't know what that, you think they'd be taking cash instead of the cyber attack. So I wasn't even aware it was that big of a deal. So yeah, I was kind of in the dark. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I kind of was in the dark on that. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video uh, financially. Want to support the channel? Cash up. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash up. Venmo, PayPal. Peace.